Okay, I'm going to show you how I corrected this. I corrected this mistake. Um, and I believe that mistakes can make things what you're working on even better. And so I really like the blue background instead. I think it brings out the face more. And also, um, the roses are more subtle, but I'm going to show you how you can take a stencil and rub out the wet paint to reveal the, the shape more. So, that's what I'm going to do now. Oops. So, what I'm doing is I'm taking a... A uh, used baby wipe. This is a baby wipe that I use when <clears throat> when I wipe off paint um, when my students do projects and stuff. This is what they use so that we save on paper towels and I reuse these over and over again. So now I have the stencil and this is my stencil, the rose stencil, and then I'm putting it on the canvas, the wet canvas, and I'm rubbing out inside the stencil instead of painting I'm actually rubbing so we'll see how this works and um, this might be interesting okay so then I pull it off and the rose actually came out more <clears throat> and um, you can see that I actually have put the shape back in again. Okay, and this time I think I'm going to leave it transparent. I don't think I'm going to put any color on it at all. Um, and what I'm going to do now is dry the canvas so that I can put another layer of color on the hair. Okay, so now I've done that, I can now go back and put some more color on her hair so that it's not so dark. <clears throat> and then I'm using um, some orange and a little bit of yellow. And I might even use some of that copper that I used before. <clears throat> But I'm actually just, whoops, I'm just painting in some hair strands. And initially, I might have thought, well, you know, she was going to be, her hair was going to be one color. Well, I find that sometimes the the person you're drawing actually will dictate what you're going to do. So you're always open to the creative process and what they want. You know, I like I like your art speaks to you. It's important to listen to it and what your art says to you because you know it's got you got to really be open to the spontaneity of the creative process you know where you think it's going to go isn't isn't like you know it doesn't come out that way sometimes okay so there we go there she is all right so this is the result of a process 
that I started with drawing in the wet paint of the shrink plastic. Now, whether or not I'm going to put this in the in the oven, that's another thing. I'm going to come back and 